All right, what do you think of the four seeds? You okay with the top uh, number ones? Yeah, um, you know, if you wanted to get technical about it, you know, look look at all that Kansas did and uh, and where they got sent, but they were still a number one seed. Uh, I thought Purdue got uh, probably the toughest draw of number one seeds, um, and uh, and Alabama got a, a pretty good one. Um, I kind of like Alabama's draw. Uh, the one one bracket seems like it's loaded with Texas teams. You know, you got Texas, Texas A and M, Houston, all that stuff. So mm-hmm. maybe they're thinking, let's get one Texas team and they put them all in there. One of them's got to come out. I don't know, but um, it's a it's a very uh, you know overall it's it's fine. I don't I don't have a whole lot of a lot of qualms about the bracket. Other teams you like? I like UConn. Uh, um, I think they're playing well, even though they got beat by Marquette in the tournament. Marquette's legit. They're, they're, I think they're an elite eight team. Uh, the, they could very well run into Purdue or Duke uh, in that bracket. And because of their length and rebounding and all that stuff, Mar- the only thing Marquette doesn't do well is, is rebound. Everything else they do extraordinarily well. Uh, so I, I like Marquette coming out of the bottom part of that, and uh, and Duke is playing really well now. Like I think Duke is seventeen and one when they have their full complement of players, and uh, they've been patiently bringing that team along. And for those that say you can't win with freshmen, um, you know that's kind of been proven wrong by Kentucky and Duke over the years. But uh, but this team is is just about freshman dominated. Their best players are freshmen, Kyle Filipowski. But they man, they're so good defensively, and now their offense is caught up. Like they're making shots and spreading the floor, and uh, and they they look like lottery picks now. Now now you say that they'll probably go out and have to repaint the rims <laughs> in their first few games. But they're 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 legit. They're very good. And they got Oral Roberts to start out. And Oral Roberts is good. Um, you remember Oral Roberts beat Ohio State a couple of years ago, and they still have the same guard, Max Asmus, spelled A-B-M-A-S, and it's pronounced Asmus. Uh, but they, they actually, Oral Roberts might actually be a better team um, than they were then. Mm-hmm. They're, they're a little bit more balanced. They've got a 7'4 kid named Connor Vanover who, uh, who went to Arkansas. He was at Arkansas before he came to Oral Roberts. Uh, but Ace Smith is like a 20, 25, uh, 22 point a game guy, give or take, and and he can really score. And uh, he's one of those guys that can go out and get you 30 in a game and be a problem. But I think Duke is too big and too athletic uh, and and their rim protection. is So I like, it blocks and change so many shots around the rim. I think they're going to be too hard to beat for ORU. Who's your pick to win it all? I took Arizona. Um, and look, Arizona has some issues, like they're not the best defensive team, but they can really score. They average about 19 assists per game and their big guys are really good. Um, and I think their guards are good, but they're, you know, they may be at times a little bit, you know, decision-making you may quarrel with, but, you know, Kirk Kreese is really a, uh, I think he's a really good guard and Courtney Ramey transferred in from Texas and hit a huge shot against UCLA to win, uh, the PAC 12 championship, uh, in the tournament. Um, I, I like their path, uh, but you know Alabama's legit. They're really good, and uh, and I could see you know if there's an Arizona Alabama game uh, in the Elite Eight, um, that's going to be a that's going to be a fist fight.